No, 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 no. Come on, calf. Come on, be okay. Ah! Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you can see, I've got the whirly girly herself, Kate the Great, with me this morning. And today we're going to do a video which is basically going to be a day in the life of a farmer during calving season. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this video, guys. Okay guys, so uh, to tell you the truth, I've been round here once already this morning. We had some action quite early on this morning and I've been round and I've did the other farm where we keep the young stock and stuff because you've seen that before on the channel. So we're not going to bore you with that, we'll just get straight into the, uh, the carbon stuff. And it was a pretty pretty busy night last night so the first thing we're going to be doing this morning is pretty much going around and getting everything we need to get done from what was going on last night and we'll explain to you guys what happened last night as we go as well okay guys so as we come in here so we have one cow up here which calved just before seven o'clock this morning So you can see there that calf's just trying to get a suckle off its mother now. And then over here in the calving pen, uh, we've got this cow at the back. So you see that cow at the back there and the calf that hasn't got tags. So normally calves wouldn't go in here until they've been tagged. But we had uh, a bit of stuff go on last night, which meant this calf had to be moved over early. So we have to get that sorted out later. So... That calf was originally in this pen, uh, but another cow started calving in this pen last night and she was just chasing around the calf of that cow instead of getting on with her own calving. And she ended up having to be calved, so she's through here, through in the back. So through the back here, we've got this cow and her little calf. So she's actually been in here a few days. Her calf was just a bit slow getting up, a bit slow getting on the teat and sucking. So it's just been in here for a bit of extra care, but I think it's going now. You see, Kate won't come in through here. And then we have Mrs. Problems up here in the back. Turn on a couple of lights. So I'll just... So this was the one that was chasing around the other one's calf. It ended up having to be calved. And then she's been pretty nasty with us. So she's... She's feeling that parental rage. Uh, and originally she was out here, we couldn't get anywhere near her. As soon as she was calved, she was just being absolutely terrible with us. Now the calf actually walked up into that pen by itself overnight. And then this morning when I come round, I took the opportunity to close the gates on her and get her in a pen so that I could get my stuff back. But you can see the calving aid, the ropes, everything. Uh, it just had to be left in here with her last night because we weren't coming in and risking getting hurt. Right. Sort out my diary because it was in here as well last night and I couldn't get to it. You can see the mice have been at the diary. Okay guys, so the diary sorted out and uh, got some tags sorted out for that calf that's in the nursery pen that needs tagged. Oh girl, what are you doing? This is quite a good calf. Uh, she had her first calf the first year I came here. You can see the calf there. I'll zoom in, but you'll see it's got a bit of a big tongue and it was just struggling to get on. I can see that it is sucking now, which is good, but I'll probably just leave it in here another day because you can see it's been on the front too because it's it's sucked those down. You can see they're not as tight anymore. There's not as much pressure on there. But the back two don't look like he's managed to get them yet. So we'll give him another day in here. Uh, but first what we're gonna do, we're gonna go around, get all these cows fed, get them their main feed out, and then we'll start sorting out calves. So guys, when you step outside the shed, it is, it is cold. 
So we've got a biting wind coming from the north today. So it is just bitter cold out here. But luckily, ridge line, I've got my nice big ridge line jacket on. I've got my nice ridge line fleecy hood, uh, fleecy hoodie on underneath. Now Ridgeline are one of the best companies in the world. They're a worldwide company which make outdoor clothing. So whether you're farming, hiking, camping, whatever it is, if it's outdoors, this is the stuff you want to be wearing. And if you do want to check them out guys, use my link in the description. Please, please, please use that link. Okay, so it's time to get these pens sorted out with some breakfast. Come on in. Go. Okay guys, so the last thing I've got to do is go and tag that calf, which is in the nursery pen, which got moved over last night because she was chasing it around. So there we go guys, we've got the morning uh, chores done over at the calving shed. So it's time just to leave these girls with their food, let them go on. There's nothing else happening, nothing else calving right now. But we'll come back if there is anything else happening later. We've got a live stream in the shed so we can always see what's happening. So we don't have to run back and forward too much. But we'll see what happens throughout the day anyway, guys. We're going to leave here, let these girls eat. And I'm going to get some breakfast as well. So guys, I'm back here, it's a little bit later on, it's about uh, 4 o'clock and we've got what looks like a heifer, so first time I'm just calving, you can see her line uh, just behind me there. So she's starting to calve right now. So guys, one little thing I'm worried about here, you can see that calf is a good way out now and it's still in that uh, water bag. So calves that are still in the water bag can drown if they're born inside it or get suffocated by that skin. So I'm going to have to watch this quite closely and uh, get in there quickly if I need to.
Wow, guys, that was so intense right there for a, just a moment there. So she got the calf mostly out. It was still in the water bag. And then the calf just sort of stuck as she was pushing and it wasn't coming out anymore. And at this point, I could see that the bag was moving. So the calf was breathing. So I ran in there, pulled that uh, bag off that calf's face and then grabbed an arm. And that's when I dropped the camera into the straw, guys, because I had to get on with both arms and help pull that calf out a bit. And you seen it just took a little minute for that calf to start up and to start breathing uh, properly. You just seen it was sort of very still at the beginning. I had to, uh, I put my finger in its nose because that makes them cough. So uh, any fluid that's in there, they'll cough out. And then the calf coughed and started getting going. So that was really good. It was good that we were here because if somebody hadn't have been there, that calf uh, could have drowned in that bag. So that's super intense, but uh, we were here, so the calf's okay. And then you've seen the calf go up and started shaking its head, so that's a sign that the calf is uh, doing pretty well. And guys, she's a heifer as well, which means uh, she was a first time mum, which probably why it was a little bit difficult for her to calve that. It wasn't a huge calf, but it wasn't small either. The light switch is away up there, so I have to use a stick to put it on. I gave these girls a little bit of silage just while I was waiting there, but I'm gonna try and get these water buckets, but I don't think this is gonna be easy because they're in her pen now. So guys, in typical fashion, I've come home, I've had some tea, I've just had a shower, got nice clean clothes on, and there is a cow calving on the live feed. So we're gonna head back round.
Well guys, there you go, that's another one. So, uh, believe it or not, same sort of situation there, being born in the water bag again. This time slightly different. She actually completely carved uh, the calf out herself and then I just jumped in and removed that water bag. And she was in a much better position for sneaking up behind her and getting that water bag off. Um, calf seems plenty healthy. Calf from earlier is uh, up and moving around and seeming quite active, which is good. Um, back home, I guess. It was filmed in the first half of calving season. So now we are well into calving season. We've only got about seven cows left to calve, I believe, at this point. I'm in lambing. But that will do for that video, guys. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.